Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 18th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do. Giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days, as it has all of a sudden gone very quiet. After furiously waking up for two days, it has now gone quiet. No major solar flares or coronal mass ejections headed our way. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Pretty quiet, crusting into view. Big plasma filaments swirling around the surface. Going to be keeping an eye on those to see what they do in the future here. Looking at outgoing imagery here. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory mixed with daily events worldwide. Thank you so much for pressing play. Watching that plasma flint in the last few images. Sharing here, multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Again, no major solar flares or coronal mass ejections. We do have now that massive earth-facing coronal hole, which increased our solar winds up and over 600 kilometers per second. And are still steady. And this thing is growing. As you can see here, 171 angstroms, just another way, amazing way to safely see our sun for today. Much love and thank you for all the support, all the comments. I will be getting back to you. Here's a look at the Earth-facing sunspot. Big black hole on our sun right now. And it is growing. Earth-facing right now. Probably about four times the size of Earth. Current space weather conditions, we are still under a geomagnetic storm impact. Level 1. Solar winds are coming in at 642 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux showing no major solar flares. And here is a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center showing the space weather spiral. No new events to show here, just the coronal hole wind stream velocity. Lasco 3 showing the wide spectrum. All of the cosmic energies leaving our sun for the past two days. Do my best here to keep you informed, aware, and prepared with daily videos on earthquakes, volcanoes, space weather, and world weather. Thank you for watching. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Here's a look at tonight's Aurora View line and tomorrow's. Not too much to talk about. Looking at the last 24 hours for earthquakes, USGS is reporting about 230. Saw quite a seismic increase in Alaska. Tonga here with the deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 499 kilometer depth. Interesting 4.6 ranging to 4.9 earthquakes all around Western Ring of Fire. 4.7 earthquake here in Kwanda, Russia. As well, 4.7 there in Northern Japan. 4.4 earthquake here off the coast of Tanzania. And as well, notable earthquakes still rocking parts of Greece, Northern and Southern Greece. 4.9 earthquake there. South Georgia, South Sandwich Islands. And as well, notable earthquake today hitting Puerto Rico. Dominican Republic, 4.1 earthquake there. Quiet across the North American plate. A lot of activity, increase, seismicity building into Alaska right now. The Aleutian Islands about to pop. We've got three active and erupting volcanoes along the Aleutian Islands. Maybe something else about to wake up. Kilauea erupted for the 22nd time since last Christmas. And right now we have 80 volcanoes around the world active and erupting. Here's a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. If you live in an earthquake prone zone, just have a plan and be ready. Hashtag no fear here. Just aware and prepared. Know what to do. Lots of deep earthquakes this week. Heads up, we haven't seen a large six magnitude 
for the past 24 hours expecting something big. Here your, here's a look at the sulfur dioxide emissions forecast brought to you by windy.com and as well the 80 active at erupting volcanoes around the world. Huge plume over Central Africa. Big plumes through Indonesia and as well Papua New Guinea. New Caledonia. Notable plumes coming out of Eastern Australia. There are about three or four volcanoes that are erupting central regions in the Congo. But you got to wonder what's erupting in the southern parts towards Johannesburg. Now let's have a look at world weather. Big system here trapped over the next few days with a cold high pressure ridge. Extreme weather expected here over the next few days as we are charging into spring. Or sorry, charging into summer. But some very intense and cold systems will be sweeping across the nation in the long range forecast. Watch for some dramatically cooler temperatures over this next week. Overlooking Africa, Europe, Southeast Asia. Low pressure system here moving through the Mediterranean. And as well, possible cyclone heading towards Yemen. Still in the forecast models here. Monsoon rains really starting to pick up. Looks like you could have a cyclone heading up into Myanmar for the long range forecast as well. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand, and all through Micronesia. Watch for extreme weather event to sweep across Australia. Long range forecast towards the 24th into the 25th. Right here, 26, 27. Low pressure system sweeping across Australia. Other than that, no major extreme weather events to report here forecasted. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific as there will be an intense little low pressure system coming through for the 22nd. And that's going to scoot right into Washington and break. And that's where we're going to see the extreme weather event all across the central United States. And as well, watch for blizzard-like conditions through Alaska, B.C., across the Canadian prairies with some strong low-pressure systems coming from the north. Much love. Stay safe and healthy out there, aware and prepared, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Thank you.